Wow, now isn't this a mood? Literally, I was just like 70% of the way through setting that up and I discovered it was broken. The base of it, it's got like a giant crack in it. So I'm about to send it back. I'm not putting the shade on. I'm not putting the shade on just to take it off. Yes, I am. Okay, there. Is that better? That one has to get returned though. I gotta get a different one. It kind of looks like Julius is a drug dealer. Like he's under a street light. I guess, but where would he keep the drugs? You know what I mean? He's got no pockets. And even if he did have pockets, he doesn't have arms to reach into the pockets. <laughs> and no butt. People like to keep drugs in their butt. He's got none of that. Yeah, no butt. Hello everybody and welcome into Late Night Dylan, the lowest budget YouTube show on the YouTubes. I hope you came here to enjoy yourself because that's what's about to happen. Mm. Uh. <laughs> I can't help myself but be interested in people's personal lives. People I don't know. I think the fact that I don't know them is part of the reason I'm interested because I have, there's no stakes. There's no stakes. All vegan. <laughs> Pun. There's a channel called Glamour that I just discovered because of this video. I have no idea what they post, but it seems like a lot of really great stuff. When I say great stuff, I mean stuff for me to roast. They uploaded a video about a girl named Isabella who has three ex-boyfriends. Glamour invited the three ex-boyfriends to come and talk about their experiences dating the same woman to see if their experiences differed, what they liked about her, what they didn't like about her. And I feel like we get a really good insight into Isabella and these three people based on this video. How would my exes describe our relationship? So we got Swish and then Tony and Tyler. Tyler's got the biggest freaking mouth I've ever seen. He must have been a snake in the past life because that jaw just looks like it unhinges and it'll swallow you whole. Swish is lucky that Tyler has such a big mouth because I spent all this time talking about his mouth and not the fact that he calls himself Swish. I'm gonna gloss over that, Swish. So we met at... One of my music video shoots. We met at a mutual friend's birthday party. I don't know if it's just like, because his mouth is so big, we're seeing so much of his mouth, but it's he's got a crusty mouth. I understand if you eat something and your tongue is the color, like if you eat something with dye in it, your mouth is gonna turn that color, but this yellow crusty color is just you not brushing your teeth. <laughs> Bruh. My type is... Funny guys. He thought my best physical feature was... Her nose. She had really soft skin. That answer, I never know if people are serial killers when they answer that. Like, yo, my favorite thing about her, I loved her skin. Just so soft and elegant and... I just love rubbing it and thinking about it in my free time. <sighs> that skin. <laughs> and I really liked his. The list is so long, JK. The list is so long, JK. <laughs> I'm a rapper. I'm cool. <laughs> JK. LOL. Ha <laughs> ha. LMFAO. I hate how he's a rapper who thinks he's cool, but then also just says JK unironically. His first impression of me. First I was like, wow, she's really pretty. And then I was like, wow, she's hilarious. In my opinion, it's important for a relationship to have a lot of humor. Because if she sees my penis and she doesn't have a good sense of humor, then it's just a tiny penis and I can't laugh it off. <laughs> then it's just sad and then it gets depressing. If all that you can talk about is how there's humor in your relationship, and there, I feel like there's not much depth beyond that. I think she thought this, I was hilarious. She was hilarious. And then I was like, wow, she's hilarious. But I get, we get it, we get it, we get it. We love watching movies together. We went to a lot of improv and uh, stand-up shows together. Stand-up shows especially, because we like laugh. Did I mention that we laugh a lot? Because we're always laughing, ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. We loved to go out, uh, go out to comedy shows. We bonded over hookah all the time. We smoked a lot of hookah. We loved to. We loved to just go out. Light a hookah, real romantic, you know, I pass her the hookah, she passes back. It was like a whole love movie. Yeah, I love movies like that when, you know, it's a love story and, you know, he's got the hookah and then he passes it to the girl and then she takes a hit of that hookah 
and then she passes it back. Cause then you could just tell, you could just tell that they care about each other because of how freely they're passing the hookah. I love, it's like a movie. Her and I relationship was like a movie. We called it hookah love. A whole lot of hookah love. <laughs> I'm a hookah on you. I, I got names for days. The best picture of us. They literally had to bring in, they had homework for this video shoot. They had to find the best picture of the couple together. And these were the choices. Far left guy, rapper, keeping the facade up, gang gang. Picture in the middle, filter. Don't know. I cannot believe you chose uh, like this heavy ass blown out photo because the filter and the dumbass ears, dog. This can't be your best picture together. Homie on the far right. Okay, that's cute. You know, couples in their natural habitat. I think we're starting to understand where the crusty ass mouth comes in. Cause what well, you got Fritos, he's got pizza. Sir, could I interest you in a toothbrush? Did we say I love you? She made a hookah for me. And then I just looked in her eyes and I told her, and then she said it back. Oh, just like a movie, bro. I got him. She got me this watch. The Air Force One's hookah. And he got me. A bunch of clothes. I got her a purse. Oh, I thought he was gonna say like a homemade hookah set. Man, he threw me for a curve. Our song was... Earned It by The Weeknd. Just when I heard it, like I was like, this is the song we getting married to. 21 Questions by 50 Cent. My neck, my back. And she loved that, that song. These are such superficial relationships. Yeah, our song together, 50 Cent for sure. Did, did you date in 2001? And don't be bringing my neck, my back into this, homie. But the first guy, how did he, how did Swish become the realest dude here? His name is Swish. We loved to go to comedy shows. We love to smoke hookah. <laughs> These two guys, God, let it go. We get it. You like to laugh and you like to smoke hookah. What else is there? We loved to watch. Power. The Office. Friends. Sometimes, I think. I don't, this dude is not here. I, he lives on some other planet. In the morning, I would always. Steal the blankets. I would FaceTime her to make sure she wasn't dreaming about no other dudes. Oh shit, Mr. Possessive. Wonder why your relationship didn't work out. I remember this one time I was at the hookah shop and I called her up just to make sure she wasn't with any other dudes. Not only to make sure she wasn't with anyone, but she wasn't thinking about anybody else. She only has room for two thoughts in this world. Me, hookah. Not in that order. Who could always come first? And the best thing I did for him... She always took my feelings into consideration. Hookah for breakfast. You guys never had hookah and cornflakes? Someone asked him, do you pour the cereal or milk first? And he's like, milk? I... I just blow hookah smoke onto my cornflakes. What are you talking about? I always wanted to buy... A mansion? What, whatever girls want. Mmm, what are girls like? Mmm, mansions, I guess? What? <laughs> I think she just likes other girly things, I'm, I'm just guessing. I have a talent for... Making people laugh. Smoking weed, she's really good at it. Comedy. Making people laugh. How did the comedy guy not get comedy? Hooga guy got comedy. But comedy guy, whose every answer has centered around laughing, her making people laugh, him making people laugh, he guesses smoking weed. She's so good at smoking weed. Smoking weed, she's really good at it. That's not a talent. Man, that's like saying drinking water. She's so good at drinking water. Like she'd just be like, at them water fountains, bro. She'd just be like, <laughs> gulp, gulp. Oh. We broke up because- We started arguing about a lot of those little things. We broke up because it was, you know, we just had life taking us in separate directions and we just, we figured out that we weren't being 100% honest with each other and it was better if we were apart. Life started taking us opposite directions like, Hers, it was taking her to like her career and success. And me, I was heading off to the hookah store and like there, there's nothing coming between me and my hookah. They should just rename it hook us because it's me and my hookah all the time. My worst habit was... Being late. She smoked. She liked other guys' pictures on Instagram. I hated that. And his worst habit was... I was always texting my ex-girlfriend. Oh, all the shit he's talked about her and then he's the one he's just like, mm, I guess my, I just have a slight mistake. I just constantly texting my ex-girlfriend. But like, why is that even a big deal? That's just a minor pickup. And the worst thing I did to him was... I came home and I caught her with another guy smoking my hookah. Not your hookah. Dog. How, how, now I see why you're angry at her. Without you, dog. 
Were we in love? Yeah, we were in love. Yeah, we were in love. You can say that. I think. Swish and Tony. Ooh. <laughs> oh my God. You can't love a man with the mouth as crusty as him. I'm saying it. <laughs> Would we date again? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure the chemistry still there. Oh, what? That was the most revealing answer. Watch his eyes. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure the chemistry still there. I want to win her back. I got to get her back or else I just can't take it. Would we date again? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> He would say he misses my... No, I just miss having a girl that I could um act like she's a guy sometime. We gotta unpack that one. When? Like, when would she act like a guy? What are you guys doing in the bedroom? What kind of sex toys you got in your closet, little boy? I'm kidding. He said a lot of cringy stuff that I didn't have to take out of context to make it weird. Like, it was weird when he said it and I just pointed it out. That one I'll take credit for. I made that weird all by myself. But also the other guy who was like, maybe we'll get back together. He said he missed her nose the most out of everything. Which is like, what were you doing in your sex life? <laughs> I made that one weird too. Okay, I'll take credit for that one too. We did improv together and it just went really well. Like we just matched each other's- Sandwiches. Chemistry. Oh, whoops. I think he would tell my future boyfriends. Good luck. Oh, I see what he's doing. He's trying to ward off other guys. Cause he knows a lot of people are gonna see this video. Just like, good luck with that one. <laughs> I would never again. Although we did have a lot of chemistry. I think he would tell my future boyfriends. Give her back. Homie's still in deep. Why'd you still talk shit about her friends? If you're trying to get her back, don't talk shit about her friends. He thought my friends were. Annoying. He hated my. Her friends. It was just annoying. She likes them more than you. She didn't break up with them, she broke up with you. You dummy. Oh, this is a whole series. She was attracted to my tattoos. I like the fact that he had a lot of them. His smile, his smile. I see, I feel like girls don't make a fool of themselves. Guys are the ones that are always making a fool of themselves, always talking about hookah and comedy clubs and calling themselves Swish. Look at his face. He, you know he's gonna have douchey things to say that I can make fun of. Hope you guys enjoyed this late night, Dylan. I'll be back again uh, sometime. <laughs> I'm buying a whole ass another lamp. We're eating to the budget pretty severely, so I have to make more just to recoup the losses. Until next time, toodles.